Well, there have been an ongoing series of discussions of race and aviation put on by the Organization for Black Aerospace Professionals. They call it Courageous Conversations, and they include a highly diverse group of aviation industry leaders. Blacks represent about 13% of the U.S. population, but only 3% of airline pilots are black. Other people of color and women are equally underrepresented in aviation. The executive director of AOPA's You Can Fly program spoke about what your association is doing to open aviation opportunities to everyone, including the AOPA's aviation STEM curriculum that's free to all high schools. More than a third of the kids learning in that program are minorities. AOPA has the power to affect the entire pilot life cycle, and I hope they go beyond the STEM program. It's a great start so that after high school, all people feel welcome to the aviation community and they work into a career or a lifelong passion. So I think as, as we look forward, um, all of us acknowledge that we can do more and can do better. And I think we need to make that uh, a focal point for what we do as a community. So as we become more inclusive, as we become more diverse, that inherently gets a little easier. But right now, we need to really make the effort to make people feel welcome, to let them know that they're an important part of our industry and our community, regardless of what they look like, regardless of what their background is, and to really hear them. Uh, listen and hear where people are coming from. Don't just pay lip service to these ideas, uh, but spend the time. Have these conversations. These are vitally important. Uh, have them with your friends who are pilots. When you see a kid looking over the airport fence, uh, regardless of what that kid looks like, invite them over to take a look at the airplane. Have a conversation about being a pilot. OBAP has more courageous conversations scheduled. You can watch online. The information is on their website.